Please welcome Emma Griffiths. <laughs> We were talking literally seconds before you came yes. on there about you know modelling and, and larger size models and what have you. As an ex model, mm. um, were you under any pressure to be a certain size at all? Um, occasionally, I got told, like especially when I was younger, when I was about eighteen and I had a poppy fat everywhere. Um, they were like, you know, lose a bit of weight, and and it kind of makes you feel a bit rubbish about yourself for a little while. But I'm. I was a bit kind of, you know, I, I like food too much. I don't really like vomiting because it's a waste no, of money. No. Um, so I just thought, you know. But do you have to work I'm, hard I'm not, to keep so slim? I mean, you're slim, you're not skinny, you're a lovely shape. Do you have to work hard at that? It's important to you to work hard. I watch what I eat. I, you know, I like chocolate like everyone else and I eat what I want to eat. But I go to the gym or have just started going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I try and stay healthy. I watch what I eat and... And I go to the gym. And does Matt watch what he eats? Or just watches you eating? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, uh, he's just started to. Has he? He put on a, quite a bit of weight. So he's, um, especially with the wedding coming up, he wants to. Um, oh, is that a bit contentious now? Because men do it. that. Don't have you noticed that? They meet you and they're right stick thin. And then all of a sudden, they, they, they fill <laughs> out, don't, don't they? they? You know, yeah. because they're content, aren't they? They rein you in. They go, yeah, oh, look at me. Do. I look amazing. And yeah. then tears later, they're like that. <laughs> yeah. When are you Not actually him, getting married? When? Um, this summer, in July. Oh. How's yes, that going? Right. You bridezilla yet? Not yet. I'm getting there. <laughs> slowly, slowly getting there. Yeah, it's going well. Everything seems to be coming together now. It took a while because we were away, obviously, last year. Now, we, mm -hmm. we have Matt on, obviously, and he told us how, oh, how in love he is with you and, and everything. Now, you stopped him so a little scared, bit. What's he scared? Yeah. We, yeah. Like, we like that, <laughs> don't we, girls? We like to scare the men. Did, yeah. st did you stalk him, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did stalk him for a little while. Yeah. Well, I tracked him down. I, I find did that you? a nicer term. Yeah. I tracked him down. Um, yeah, but you did, I, but you stalked him. I liked him, him yeah. and, I, and I'd met him before and I had fun with him and I just thought, you know what, why not? Um, I'm going to try and find him again. And was he hard to pin down, as it were? <laughs> <laughs> no, very easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I made a few phone calls, found him. But the great thing is, the great thing is, is that you're, is that you're working together. The sort of, you yeah. know, a young Richard and Judy potential partnership. <laughs> yeah. Do you really want to be like the next that. Richard and Judy? <laughs> no. Or do you want to actually be quite good? Um, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, they're a bit cheesy, aren't they? I think. I love Richard and, and Judy, like... but no, I mean we don't. Our plan isn't to work together all the time. No. I'm a celebrity, came up, and it made sense. I'm a reality junkie, and Matt won it, so. Sure. There was a reason for it, which is why we did it. Um, and we just had a great time. And uh, the Brits, obviously, we did together. And that was music, so it made sense to him. And I was dying to do it, so And you used to work sense, on MTV as well, yeah, yeah, so you have yeah. that, that music link. Yeah. Now, tell us about the ghost hunting, though, because you were telling us you went ghost hunting or something. And oh. you said that you were a bit of a wimp, I have to say. I was. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I looked a bit silly, actually, when I watched it. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Where did you go? What type of place we did you We went to, to um, the Black Country Museum, which was... I didn't really find that bad because I used to visit it as a kid on school trip, so it was kind of a familiar place. But the worst one was um, the disused hospital, which was, you know, lots of people have died there. Mm. It's going to be quite scary. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I cried and ran out. Did <laughs> you? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, you know, it, it plays with your head. It's dark, you're on your own, you can't see anything, you can hear noises, you don't know what they are. And, uh, and people are telling you there's ghosts there. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Yeah, it's kind of scary. <laughs> now, we were talking as well about men dyeing their hair earlier. You're involved with a sort of hairdressing project at the moment, aren't yes, you? Yes, uh, the nation's favourite hairdresser awards. Um, uh, are you judging it? I'm a judge on it, yeah. Um, you can vote, basically, for your, your favourite hairdresser. Um, so this, a famous, so famous hairdresser or your no, own hairdresser? No, your own hairdresser. Oh. Um, and it's not so much about how amazing they are at cutting and colouring, it's the relationship you have with your hairdresser. Mm, um, OK. Which I quite like because they, they're kind of like therapists, aren't they? Yeah, I love oh, They're very important. They well. are. You go and they listen to your stories for hours or however long you're there and you give them a five pound tip and you're on your way and they're burdened five with quid. your baggage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like... Five quid, you just made James about in a sweat there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is kind of a giving something back to your hairdresser yeah. by saying, 
you're amazing. This is why I think you're amazing. Mm. And, um, and you vote, do you vote online for this? You vote online at the Head and Shoulders website and um, there's a big finale in London in June. Okay. Now, this, this, sort of, sorry to butt in. You know when you do tip your five quid? <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. Now, do you, t do you also tip the girl who's washed your hair? Ah, that's always the one, isn't it's it? It's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. I always find that I've never got any cash. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so one sorry. Them. No, yeah, you've got, you've got to tip the Can washers. Can I just say that my youngest daughter is that girl that washes your hair, so yes, you should always yeah, split. Yeah, no, I think you should. Yeah. Split, do a little th yeah. th three and two or a four and one, don't you? Yeah. 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 And, on 50 and, 4, 50. Yeah. <laughs> and on that bit of public service <laughs> announcement, ladies and gentlemen, is Emma Griffiths, everyone. <laughs>